geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... The Rock Cycle. The Rock Cycle is a way of linking together all of the processes that make the variety of rocks that we find on our planet Earth. When people hear Rock Cycle, they may think of a bike with wheels made of rocks. No, that is not correct, although it is quite a good image. The rock cycle can be learnt by thinking of it being broken up into five main parts. They sort of link together, a bit like a jigsaw. The five parts are magma, sediments, metamorphic rocks, igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks. So how can we link these together? A good way to start is to think of a clock. Time starts at the top. So let's start there with magma. Magma can be found inside our planet in the layer called the mantle. For those that do not know, the inner core forms the centre of our planet, this surrounded by the outer core. The mantle surrounds this with a crust making the outermost layer of our planet. The mantle is made up of very hot, almost liquid plastic rock which we call magma. Magma can leak out of the mantle through the crust at volcanoes, when we then call the magma lava. Lava can be very hot, sometimes around 1,300 degrees C. Yes, 1,300 degrees C. Wow! So we know that magma extrudes at volcanoes and is hot. Because the lava is hot, it will cool and become colder. As it cools, it crystallises. When magma cools, it forms crystals. As magma cools, it forms igneous rocks. Sometimes magma cools underground, doing so very slowly over many millions of years. When it does, it can form granite, an igneous rock made up of quite large crystals due to its slow rate of cooling and crystallisation. When volcanoes erupt at the surface, the resulting lava cools quite fast, forming igneous rocks with smaller crystals such as basalt, a common example of a volcanic rock. Igneous rocks, exposed at the Earth's surface, can then undergo weathering and erosion. Weathering is the process where rocks are broken down, whether by the action of ice and wind and water, known as physical weathering, or by the roots of plants, known as biological weathering, or by the acids found in rainwater or rivers known as chemical weathering. Erosion is the process of wearing away older rocks, such as by moving water or wind or ice, these often carrying fragments of rocks that help further scour away the rocks. Eventually, the water or wind will drop or deposit the pieces of rock, resulting in the fragments all piling up, forming sediment. This sedimentation continues, with more layers building up upon lower, older layers, until the weight of the overlying sediment squashes the lower layers, compacting them together. This compaction, together with minerals in the groundwater cementing the grains together, forms sedimentary rocks. Sandstone is an example of a sedimentary rock, formed by layers composed of billions of sand grains, all being cemented together. Sedimentary rocks can themselves be subjected to weathering and erosion, so making more sediments. Rocks Igneous or sedimentary rocks, for example, can, over a long time, be heated and squashed. Further squashing, due to immense pressure inside our crust, can deform these rocks, forming metamorphic rocks, the third main group of rocks. The term metamorphic is made of two other terms. Morph means to change, and meta comes from an ancient language and means heat and pressure, so it gives us metamorphic. Slate is a metamorphic rock, formed from the metamorphism of mudstone, a sedimentary rock. Gneiss is a metamorphic rock, formed from the immense metamorphism of rocks such as granite. Metamorphic rocks themselves can also be metamorphosed. Igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary rocks can all be subjected to weathering and erosion, so making more sediments, and so continuing the rock cycle. Sometimes, igneous and metamorphic rocks can, over a very long time, be subjected to lots of heat, as in lots of heat. This can then cause them to melt, forming magma. And so the rock cycle is complete. That's amazing. 
but how can we remember the rock cycle? Yes, we could think of our comedy cartoon bicycle, with rocks at its wheels. But why not think of our Geology and a Jiffy logo? That is a circle, and if we lay out all of the parts and processes of the rock cycle, we can easily see how the jigsaw fit together. The rock cycle! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!